dummy. This is going to be our exercise. Todd, is there anything you want to say to the microphone while we're going? This is therapy. That's why you're going. The button is red. I think I, I think I expressed it on it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, but but the personality swings, but for the uh the, the before the red From button get to pushed one, yeah. to when the red button get pushed no. is wild. Cause. No. <laughs> a whole twenty seven seconds ago, <laughs> whole different energy in this thing. Right, and then you tell me, and then and then you, yes, thank you for listening to the Dummies podcast. <laughs> yeah. They can't handle that kind of job. Lost we'll, we'll lose, we'll um, lose listeners. If I was day time, I don't know. Anymore. You know how people be weird. Like no, we love how transparent you are. And how you, you personalize it and though. you share it. Right. Not generalize it. <laughs> when you, if you personalize it, they'll be all right. It'll be like, oh, you yeah. Thank you for, out. thank you for sharing. It'll be them generalizations. That you know. Well, I but it's good. People like personal stuff sometimes. Well, yeah, that sometimes. too, because they want to be in your business. But fuck you. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> I, I think. I think. I think people just genuinely want to. They like to hear know it. that somebody's going through the same things that they're going through. Yeah, we could do that. But we're gonna do that um behind the scenes. Oh yeah, facts. I, I ain't saying that. I was just, I was, I was just <laughs> letting the listeners know. I ain't ready to be Dr. Field up here. That, that in between the red in between the red lines is different than when the red red button gets For pushed. Sure. That's all. That's I just needed that to be known. So does so does that contradict what we said this week? Well or last week. By what? Image. image. Well, no, because it doesn't have anything yeah, to do with image. That is you right. Yeah. It's like it's like with the uh uh, the FBI and stuff, like some stuff is classified. Like we right, tell you right. what you need to know, but <laughs> some stuff is classified. Right, right, right. So yeah, we have some classified information around here. We do. Everybody yeah, do. We do. Every, yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody do. do. It's just like what uh, what uh, your mama used to say: uh, this in-house business. Facts. Y'all Facts. ain't never heard it. Praise yeah. in public, yeah. correct. You still in live that way now. You got to have in-house business. Anybody who has everybody in their business, mm, that ain't gonna yeah, last very long. Right. You gonna hear too many voices, and then you gonna. Crash out, and that's speaking from a from a from a relationship standpoint. Maybe people single want everybody in their business. You know, I don't know. We don't well, know because we ain't in that position. Facts. Wait, I mean, these these new age people, all of they in house business get out. Oh yeah, well, they be on the <laughs> internet now. Uh. Well, I tell y'all what, it's time to celebrate, baby. Here we go. Hey. I know how to start the podcast all right, baby. Yeah. I know Barry's somewhere mad. Yeah, Barry's mad somewhere. Uh, hey. They told me bust out my ass. Look at that strike. Perfect timing. Got them baguettes up on my neck. I stay, I stay shining. shining. Hey. It's never hot around the my neck. Fight DSL. I went and got that new man back. I stay great. I went and bust down my Movado. Perfect time, man. Got my real hands up on my neck. Y'all bust down. They made me out there. It's never a hammer product. Right. Right. <laughs> nah, but for real. Here we go. Here we go. You tuning in to the Dummies Podcast. I'm Stop. I'm Todd. I'm Hootie. Damn, my bad. We back like we never left, because like we say every week, we never leave. It's episode 287. Yes, 287 consistent episodes from the consistent group that's getting more consistent at marketing and promotions and show yeah. ideas. Visibility. Kind yes. of. Yeah. We're going to get there. Yeah. Uh, but we back in this thing, man. It's Sunday. Y'all know what we do on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday's yeah, the best yeah, day. Yeah. The pub. Mm-hmm. And let it all out. It's yeah. the end and the beginning of the week all in one. So it's the end of the it's week. The cleanse. But then it's the beginning of the week it's when y'all get to hear it. So, yeah, we in this thing. I don't know if y'all seen the charts, but You're stock welcome. is at the top oh. still. You know, I You're make welcome. this stuff look easy, you know. I be, I be taking chances. <laughs> uh, um, I be taking chances. But well, we in this too. thing, man. We feeling good, feeling great. The lights are lighting. Dez is dezzing. Todd is todding. Hootie is hooting. And that. the MacBooks are doing what they supposed to do. Cut the check, Apple. Uh-huh. Uh, where uh-huh. we at, though, with the hoop? I'm in here with my AP. I'm in here with Mama Vado. Stay shiny. It's a real AP though. Apple product. <laughs> hey, it's AP, there you go. You and Todd got some AP. Cut them. Yeah, cut them. I need, so I need my, my That was Apple. a great I game last night. But we'll get to it. You know uh, but the week been cool, man. I ain't do much of nothing this week, but work, 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 work. Um, came in here a little bit yesterday. Did some, did another shoot. Um, then went had some self time. I went and rolled by Can't Get Right House real quick, but he was pretty bored, so I got up out <laughs> and went to the mayor. I went chilled at the mayor, watched mm. the LSU game, and just enjoyed the atmosphere and chilled. Man, I had a nice long ass conversation with a stranger. Can't get right. Um, did you have a good time over there? Hell no. Okay, pretty boring. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. 
Um, because I was talking to him. I ain't going back. Me and him were, were having a conversation <laughs> earlier before you got there. Mm -hmm. And um, he was saying how, you know, the air condition wasn't working or something, and it was kind of hot. So mm -hmm. he said that you and him was going to share a fan. He was going to put it on ice, oh, ice, escalation. <laughs> ice isolation. Ice or whatever it is. Oh. That, the, the ice <laughs> hey, he was, I said two, two men sharing a fan is wild in that thing. He doubled it up. He had two up in there. But it wasn't, to me, it really wasn't that hot because I guess I wasn't sitting in it all day. But you went out. You know how when the uh, fan go off you, he did. the temperature go 3,000 degrees, fast. and then it come it back? Go fast, <laughs> hey, he did try to set the mood, though, in there, because you know when it's hot outside, he going to cut the lights down low. Ooh, <laughs> but he don't do that for my body. Cut the lights down low. <laughs> <laughs> boy, is it the mood for me in that thing to keep it cool? I feel you, my boy. But, nah, man, but two men, like, one fan. Y'all, boy, two, crazy. We had two fans, man. We had two fans. He, he pulled one from somewhere. I don't know where. Um, <laughs> but that was, <laughs> that was it. Didn't we have an anniversary? Yeah. Why you pulled that up there? Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to the Dummies podcast. What, we just turned six? Seven. Seven? Seven. I don't it's know. Seven? I don't, I don't, know. I don't, I don't, I'm lying, man. I don't know. Dad, how old are we? 2018. 2018. Six. Man. Six of them things. Six. six. You're welcome, okay? You all are welcome. Mm -hmm. I appreciate y'all, the listeners, the fans, yes. Yes. the but people who, who <laughs> listen every week to keep us going. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Go to the site and support Buy some merch. Yeah, to celebrate six, go back and buy some merch. We got different shirts it's on. It's gonna now. be a hoodie season, some, so grab yeah, your yeah, hoodie. Yeah, grab your hoodie. For real. Refresh it. Mm -hmm. We about to refresh the the merch site. You got an asphalt mm -hmm. color up that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't yeah. mad at it. I ain't mad at it. But yeah, my bad. Hoop. I just I, wanted to I, talk I, about. I swung it. Oh, it's on top. It I think so. Oh, you ain't pass it, but it's all good. Yeah. No I know what you meant. No looks. But um, <laughs> yeah, man, same thing. Uh, work, 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 and more work. Um, I got an opportunity to work the um, Nicki Minaj concert um, on Sunday. Were you dancing? No. <laughs> no, I wasn't at all. Nah, I ain't nah. sexy. If it, it was hey, sexy, yeah. then my oh, yeah. I, Don't worry, Wednesday. I got you coming right up. Oh, she coming? Yeah. You going? And, yeah, I work it. Ooh. That and Kodak Black. He going to be there, too. Oh. oh, I might need to work it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a shirt. Kodak. Yeah, yeah. Kodak. Kodak Black. So, um, but yeah, the Nicki Minaj concert, um, it was cool. Um, the community was out. Um, and mm. like, I, I never got a, a opportunity to ever go to a Nicki Minaj concert cause you know, I just didn't want to, but to see how they embrace her and her fans. Yeah. It's something to see. You like, said the community was out. You be getting nervous about that now? Seeing what I don't. happened last night, stuff like that. When stuff what, like what, that happened and what, all what, around the community, the, the fair, what, Hush, Onyx. What I'm not talking about that community. I'm talking about the, um, the barbs. I know what you no, I'm just yeah, saying, the just, community. Just in general, sometimes. Yeah, but no, I, I in you know there I wasn't because it, it was not that kind of vibe at all. It was no negative energy in there, um, aside from you know <laughs> some of the workers who were uncomfortable with the community being in such an influx. And the, in the YNs was in there. Uh, <laughs> no, no, uh, uh. Um, so I had an elderly guy working with me, right? Old school granddad in them. Mm -hmm. Don't he, play games. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, I had three sons, raised three sons. They couldn't come to my house like that. With the, with the, with the butt out? Man. That butt Sagging. Out. Like, we saw nah, the old we, people, man. You heard me with the butt out. <laughs> <laughs> Young kids walking with the butt out. So he like, he man, you, you leave that out there in the world. You come in here, you're going to be the man. Like, I'm like, man, times are changing. But, you know, people that of that age, they're set in their ways and it's hard to change them. Um, he wouldn't even help the people. Why? Because he how that buyer. Nigga, how this nigga get the job? <laughs> hey, I thought the job was the help. <laughs> you know, nigga didn't do nothing. He really, was do. It's really not a big vetting process. Tell, like nigga say you want to work, cool. All right, come on. <laughs> we just need the body. Type of nigga to go to work and tell a nigga I ain't doing none of that right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't doing that. I can't find this seat. Shit, it's over there. <laughs> I got you, my man. Come on, let's go. Right. <laughs> my boy ain't help him do nothing. But uh, needless to say, her performance in there. Um, it wasn't all that to me. She wasn't flying from the ceiling like CB. No, it, and she wasn't really singing her lyrics. The fans were. I don't know if she just out of shape or what, but it wasn't. She looked. She looked like she is. She didn't look yeah. out of shape. <laughs> she didn't look out of shape at all. But I guess you know it's different from when you perform in your songs. But I forgot a, a a great deal of her songs too. Like she has a. A pretty good rock. You know, singing word for word? No. Nah. Because I, I don't singing know any. Because I, I, I don't know any, but singing the, bars, the people titles, in them, the sing. they were singing this word for word. So I forgot how, like, her verse on, what it is, Monster on Kanye album, mm -hmm. I forgot how hard she went on that. She went berserk on that bit. Um, 
But that was that Sunday night. But aside from that, like I said, man, work, work, got an opportunity to hang out with with the people last night at the bar while I was working. That was dope. Uh, that's that hood hard right now, dude. I like that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got that one. I got that one. Stay away. <laughs> um, yeah, man, that's pretty much my week. I think um, nothing interesting happened. I don't think. Sounded interesting. Yeah. But stock. What about your week, bro? Uh, cool week. Uh, work, work, work a lot. Uh, this week that's cool. Uh, had some new guests come on into the factory. That was dope this week. Um, got the opportunity. I'm gonna be speaking Wednesday. So if y'all not doing nothing, make sure y'all come out to uh, yo, 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 yo. this UAB Black Alumni Week. Well, uh, and I had the opportunity uh, to be able to be on the panel to speak at the Bridge the Gap. Uh, I guess panelist, whatever you call it. Um, and it's basically uh, how we can build relationships between the alumni. And uh, business owners and stuff. Nigga give the candy. Like nigga, nigga gave the candy a microphone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That don't help it, Todd. But nah. Um. So it was dope opportunity, man. I'm excited about being able to speak. Uh. You know, y'all know I like talking. Man, clearly. Talking. Yeah. Andy. Yeah, yeah. You know, get on there. Two hundred eighty seven episodes. You gotta like talking. But uh. So it's gonna be dope. Uh. If y'all not doing nothing, come out. UAB. It's Black Alumni Week, so uh, go on to the UAB Black Alumni page on Instagram. It's showing all the different things that uh, they got kicking off this week. Uh, They're going to cap it with, I think, UAB play Navy this week, um, this Saturday. So Tell them uh, what day it is. You, I don't think you told them. What? What day is the panel thing? I said Wednesday. Oh, I didn't hear you say No, it's okay. It's okay. But what I didn't tell them is what time. I think it's at uh, six, 6 to 8. Wednesday, September the twenty fifth, uh, at the Alumni Theater on UAB campus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a sneaker ball this week. Okay. Uh, so they got all kind of stuff, man. They got a Friday night link up. Uh, they got a karaoke night. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff. Go to UAB Black Alumni Instagram page uh, and keep up with what's what. Uh, and I will be in the building Wednesday, uh, and I'll probably be at the game Saturday. So um, excited about that. Uh, other than that, man, it was just a week. I, I enjoyed, you know, watching football, catching up, doing doing our normal. So I ain't really tripping off that part. Um, but damn, that's it. Remote work. That's hate. JD Dance. Well, yeah, he was hating too. But did you see the? Uh, I, it's, it's I mean, it's the trend. Uh, Amazon basically said that they're demanding for all their corporate employees to return to the office five days a week, Rem- and it said remote work is now dead. It's over. What's the reasoning for it? Uh, I think that a lot of companies and corporations are basically saying, I don't know what Amazon's uh, uh, angle was, but a lot of cor- corporations and companies saying that that camaraderie that you build for, uh, that you can't really uh, replace the network. Like, there's employees don't know each other, but they're doing uh-huh. jobs together. Um, and they feel like a lot of work still going undone because people are not actually there. So it's more time to fuck off or... You know, take naps. Some people doing the wrong thing. You know, going to barbershop, doing stupid shit that you ain't supposed to do. Yeah. But a lot of people are doing their work, so some people function better. You know, being at home. But uh, a lot of these corporations and stuff, it's, it's been a while now. Uh, you seen JD Vance come out and basically say that you know, for government employees, like, hey, fuck that, you gonna get fired or you coming back in? So uh, I just think it's that time. We what four twenty twenty four? Yeah, we well four years, years yeah. post the height of the pandemic. I say twenty years. Um, but you know, we've had a nice year of straight, not nice year, but a, a year of all pandemic stuff where like, you know, shutdowns and all that. Right. So maybe three years post pandemic now. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, a lot of people saying it's time to get back to work and a lot of corporations already did it. I don't <sighs> like, it's, it's a, I, I, I get one side and I get the other as well. Um, say for instance, people that don't have childcare. Hey, you know man, what I mean? I, I'm going to tell you the argument to that is telework is not a substitute for child care. Right. But I can't afford child care. Okay. Yeah, but, but what would you have done four years ago, yeah. five years ago? This ain't four years ago. This ain't, we went in this I mean, particular four, five years ago, economy need, four years ago. Five years ago, people needed child care. Economy, okay, fine. All right. Well, give me a raise so I can pay for child care. That's not how that works. I'm, I'm saying, but you don't think... That's going to be the pushback. Sure. Can it, it can be, yeah, but you're going to get work. fired. Yeah. It's not you work. don't have a job. Like, I, like don't, get, I, don't get me wrong. I sympathize for the people who got to go back and pay child care. I totally sympathize. But then I also understand the company's position that, like, that's not my job. I get it. But, it's, okay, so where in, in the world where you can barely get a move to work right now, mm-hmm. 
You don't think them would walk away from this shit? No. Pick their family well, over they, there? They, I think that they and find will. another job that I think that they, they will, but I don't think that helps their situation. It doesn't. It kind of makes it worse. It doesn't help to not worry. I mean, we got people that do not want to work. Mm-hmm. But I, I look at the, I, I get what you're saying. Like, things are inflated, so the inflation is high. But uh, I've been making a decision on, do you go to child care or go to work since 2008, like eight, nine? So that's not a new conversation. You've had to always figure that out. Right. And I remember one time you um, can always afford it. I remember one time with Jordan, it was it it was when me and her mom was together, it was it was really better. Hey man, that job that you going to you might have well ain't enough home. for the day. Just don't worry about it. Yeah. And it was a better decision. So I say that to say that that has always been on the table of decisions you had to make. Yeah. I think we just become very entitled. Yeah. And, I, I and we gotten spoiled. Right. And so like I tell people all the time, man, we gotta go back. I'm cool. Like we didn't had four years. Almost five years of this shit. Like, if I got to go back, I'm moving downtown. That's too much of a Yeah, drive. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna be a huge adjustment. <laughs> don't have to move downtown, yeah. but, or something, man. But um, I get it. I think it's. I don't like it. Um, I want to work from home. I know that people want to work from home. I know that some people do work from. Home. I think it's gonna be real hard for a lot of places and agencies to go from some people 100 percent telework to coming into the office every single day. Mm. Now I do think that we can somehow find a happy medium two, three days a week, mm. split Hybrid. it up, you know, like, you know, let, let's, right. let's have it. Cause if, right. if it's, that's the reason the camaraderie, we can have a core day. We're going to still see each other. We're going to meet each other. We're going to work right. with each other. But still let me work at home sometimes, man. Cause like, with the economy, if you want to help me somehow, let me stay home sometimes. At least it's going to save me on food and gas and right. maintenance. Yeah, help me save on something. But I could see why they're going to say childcare not the argument. Yeah, I I, I, I liked when we had that uh, pre pandemic when, when we had the days? hybrid schedule when it was two days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Like you know, I could you know come in three days and make everybody come in on Monday and Tuesday or something. And then mm-hmm. or highway, well, I know it was kind of staggered, but you know, make people come in the bulk of the time. No. But to say no. come back 100% of the time, that's going to make a lot of people miss work. And where we work, it's, hey, yeah. okay. I'm going to tell you what I realized is wild, though, like going back on for Saturday overtime. Mm-hmm. Like just like to go all the way, way to the building for Saturday, to be there for like four, five hours. Like, wow, it's kind of right. Yeah, like, like right. come on now. let me stay at home for that. <laughs> yeah. like, come on now. <laughs> you know. Uh, but we'll see how they go. So um, come back with the statistics. Not doing enough cases. You stay like, shut, shut, shut up. Give me a number. I saw um here in Alabama, uh, a lot of Alabama lawmakers are considering a bipartisan bill uh, for high school students where they'll cut two math classes and science high school classes in exchange for workforce training. Yeah. Uh, which kind of their goal is to to help kids who don't want to go to college, right. who plan to go straight into the workforce. Uh, it, it's a, a diploma that they plan on getting that'll help kind of push them directly into their workforce training right. instead of college more ready training. All right. Um, it has to be mad in science, though? It could be an extracurricular that gets cut. Like, we had... We, we ROTC. Had, just take it as right. an elective. Have it as an option. Like, I took culinary arts. Let me I don't think... Like wood building. From my understanding, and they, they hadn't released a lot of details on it. I don't think that... I mean, if you plan to go college and stuff, you can take those math and sciences. But if you plan to do something else, it's going to be more of a... A work skill training. We say this all the time. For, for for some jobs, I've yet to do geometry and algebra. I've yet to do trigonometry and algebra at the job I work at. Right. Those are facts. So right. I do a lot of math. <laughs> with a calculator. Addition. Like we got a calculator, we got a tool that, that does the math for it's you. It's not algebraic expressions and no shit like that. It's what, all it ain't what? Algebraic. What, what kind of expressions? Algebraic. You ain't never heard of that? Oh, I, no. It didn't sound like that what you said the first time. <laughs> That's what I said. I can't just tell you. Nigga, you know how to enunciate, Todd. I said it just didn't tell you. But no, I'm saying, like, like, yeah, in that job, it's it's a lot of addition and subtraction. It's not, you know. It's basic math skills. Yeah, basic math skills. And it's a calculator and a tool that do it all for you. You just got to plug in the right numbers. So, there you go. Um, But but I've been talking actually more, you know, I've been talking to a few people about it because, you know, um, some of their kids, like, don't want to desire to go to college, which is fine because. I tell people all the time, college ain't for everybody. Yeah, Facts. Um, it almost was. And at one point, there was a push for everybody to go to college. Right. And uh, we did a, I think we did a, a story here about a lot of the women that are now going into like truck driving and yep. mm-hmm. forklifting, mechanics, because that shit wide open right now. And they making a ton of money doing Tons it. Of that shit. So I think it's cool to kind of push both. Because I remember when the guy from Dirty Jobs, 
uh, Mike Rowe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of crazy because he showed what happened. He'd been saying for, man, it's been about 10 years. He used to come on Vice. And he was showing how, like, there were people, like, in North Dakota and stuff, paying people fifteen and $20,000 bonuses just to come because they can't find forklift drivers and they can't yeah. find bobcat drivers and stuff because we switched, like, in the 70s or the 80s, we switched to that that work hard, not smart. I mean, work uh, smart, smart, not hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we switched to that. And so that put more of an emphasis on everybody going to do office and right. com, um, computer type based jobs, which that's how the, the the numbers got real low on skilled labor. Yeah. So now skilled labor back wide open, and people and realizing all of this goddamn debt and a lot of may not be necessary. <laughs> so a lot of that yeah. shit more automated. That shit is kind of scary though. Hey man, I was talking to a guy yesterday at work. Boy, I said he was he was just coming from he from Missouri, but he was coming back from Florida. He was helping with the cleanup from the storm. He said he made nine hundred dollars a day. So he cutting them trees. Mm-hmm. See, you make some money. Nine hundred dollars a day. You no know problem. Do he go? He go. And he been them. gone for two months. Anytime there's any storms and stuff around the Gulf, he going traveling. Yeah, cleaning so up oil spills. that boy going out there to cut the wood off the power line mm-hmm. and and chip them up. Nine hundred a day. Go that's what um. That's the shit that uh Ernest do. That's his business. Mm-hmm. That, well, they making the killing. Yeah, like they they yeah, got they contracts with the power company and shit. Hey, yeah. come over here, cut the, tr- the trees out the power line. Nigga, they rolling in it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm friend. an inside nigga though. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it, but I, mean, I think it needs. You probably working for that shit. Right? Inside, you, you definitely working for. It. I think it need to. Yeah. It do need to be balanced. Right. I do think it need to be like push both and let and let kids yeah. find their lane. You know, right. uh, to to what. What fit them best? Because uh, all people aren't school people, and all people aren't hands-on people. I'm not a hands-on nigga. I don't know, you know. I can do I can do the basics, but yeah. I'm not gonna get paid doing plumbing, or electrician, or I can't HVAC. Drop your transmission, my boy. Yeah, but but them niggas. <laughs> get, I wish <laughs> I could, but I, now I wish I could work on a motherfucking yeah, yeah, car, boy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm, stocks, auto parts. <laughs> I still have my Camaro. Bro. <laughs> see your manifold touching the carburetor, and see. You know, hey, you look like you gonna mess it up. Had that cigarette. <laughs> with like cigarette. when Desi Banks had that cigarette hanging out of the See, let me show cigarette. you. Let me show you right here. They show you to be yeah, like that. Uh, so I don't know. I think it's dope. Uh, I was talking to my friend uh, the other day, and she was just kind of saying she was trying to figure out uh, what her son gonna do because he don't. She was like, she don't think he built for college. Yeah. Uh, Ain't fair, and some people trying to force him now. She was like, well, he not a college student. She was like, she, he barely doing his high school work. It's just yeah. not for him. Yeah. So. Nigga, go. I'll be Alabama power lineman or something. Yep. Like, man, yeah, nigga, yeah. start rolling one. that cake. Right. Go be a truck driver. For sure. Uh, so. I almost would. I still be getting traumatized when I be seeing trucks pass by me. I ain't gonna lie, I miss, I miss the road, bro. More and more, I think about how much I miss the road. I don't be like to drive like yeah. that. Yeah. But you get this. I just remember listening to every pod I want, listening to every song I want. And it'd be a quiet time scene, like. I want to eat I remember yeah. he was in there, G-Bo. You're like, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> sick of this Tired shit. Tired of driving. I'm sick of this shit. I get it, off the road. Is that like that with everything, though? Yeah, like, yeah. For the most part. Yeah, when you start doing this, it's like, man, I miss this. And then when you start doing that, it's like, man, I don't want to do this. Once it becomes like a chore or a real job. Yeah, once it's work, work, yeah. it's just something about work, work, shit. being work, work, man. It makes it feel it like. said work, work, being work, work. And she just be like Groundhog Day. Fool, I get up, I go to this job more than I do anything else every single day. Fool. Well, you know that's what come with responsibility, Hooter. You I know. got a lot of it right now. Ooh, I had that conversation this week. I tried to break it down that simple, but you know how that be going. What conversation? Um, not being happy at work and it being Groundhog Day, and whether you live here, there, or there, you're still going to have to do that. So, kind of, no matter where you live, it's going to be Groundhog Day. Do you think? If you do the same job every single day. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it like let's move. Let's move to Cali. Like, why you still gonna kind of have the same kind of? I think. Up Groundhog I think everything is pretty much routine. Like everything follows a routine, and then you're gonna have some first, some few things that's go off script that you got to be prepared for. Right. That's. A, that's I a, understand it. Yeah. <laughs> I was having another. Not everybody understands that. I was having another conversation with somebody, and they was just saying like, some sometimes they don't feel like an adult. Why? Like they don't feel. Like they're responsible enough to be an adult. And I wasn't going to really ask y'all because I already know the answer. But do y'all feel like y'all are full-fledged adult? 
man, you can't ask me that after the conversation. Full I had the fledged <laughs> adult. <laughs> Like for, yeah, but I'm childish sometimes. <laughs> you know, in, in some aspects, you still do some childish stuff, meaning like sometimes you selfish. That's exactly Sometimes you selfish in what your time or what you want to do, and sometimes you'll say no. Hey, now, is that a full-fledged adult? Just sometimes saying no just because I feel like saying no? Well, I, I, I don't feel like going? I said it to Todd. That's why I said I probably wouldn't bring it here, but me and Todd were talking about this Friday. Um, and, and, and I... Like you said, I, that's how I answered it. Like, no oh man, sometimes you childish or you do little stuff. That 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 go without saying because they were the, the they were saying like they look at their parents and them and they don't feel like they that kind of an adult. Like they almost in their forties and they don't feel like I, feel like I don't feel like I'm. Resp- yeah, that's that's kind of what they were saying. And I was like, for me, it's different because um, and me and Todd were talking about this. Like, yeah, but they once I went to college. Years. Like once I went to college, nigga, it was game time. Now right. I now I got support. Let me not lie on my mama and say she didn't do shit. All right. Cause she definitely supported and sent money and stuff. But from that point forward, I kind of made grown decisions and been on my own. And then I had a child at 23. Right. And and then at what, 26, 27, I was a single parent. Mm-hmm. So, hey, yeah, nigga, I, every time I gotta go drive to, to a college or gotta go pay a a, a fucking senior fee or a power I had to put a roof <laughs> over the head and yeah. right. put them in a school system and go do all the doctor stuff and do, hell yeah, I feel like a full fledged adult. Yeah. Shit, no, yeah. like I've been feeling like that since twenty three. Yeah. It's been a long time. Hell like, yeah, nigga. I, think I was five hours away from everything I've ever known and had to make those daily life decisions since then. Yeah. yeah. So shit, at twenty nine thirty, I was a full fledged adult. Shit, I man. feel. I don't, but, like honestly, bro. Like I don't really feel I like mean, I ever had the opportunity to be. None responsible or even on some immature childish shit. Simply because, like, in, when I'm with my moms, my dad went there, so I had to watch out to my little brothers. So that's a responsibility. Lead there, come have a kid of my own. More responsibility. Lead home, yeah, come to like school. You've been old all your so life. Saying, saying? Yeah. So yeah. It, been old all hey, life. God, it ain't never been a time where I nigga got granddad and <laughs> <laughs> right. So it ain't never been a time where nigga just could just. Be unresponsible for real. Like, yeah, the first, there's always something. He was yeah. the first preteen adult. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I'm pretty sure that was others like me. But All but I yeah, but but yeah, I, that's kind of what I, I I said. I feel like, man, I've been. What, we, this, what's this the first, saying? I'm a professional life liver. This person they don't have kids. Okay. Right. Oh, I already knew that would come. Yeah. And I, and I told him that, that might be why you don't feel like that because you don't have kids and then you still get support you're, from you're your not parents. Not responsible for right. anybody. Yeah. So I feel, I feel like a full fledged adult. I ain't have kids. See, well, they married. That's but true. They married. Right. Right. No, nope. but I left the That's, house at eighteen. Yeah. But 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 there will probably be a lot of people like what Dez just said, married or not married. If they kind of hell on their own, it's a lot of people hell on their own, right. having to figure that shit out. A lot of people I don't have 18. family and dads and moms paying their bills. They got to get out there. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, I just feel like once I hit eighteen, my nigga, like Game time. all the decisions that I made, kind of I made my own. Like I ain't never called and say, "Hey, mama." You think I should take this job? I just told her, hey, yeah, I'm doing I'm this. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, guess what I'm finna do? Hey, I'm finna go get this house. Now hey, she and now she'll say shit like, she t- are you sure it's time for that? She might have talked me out of quitting the job. Right. <laughs> you know what yeah. I told her? Yeah. I told her, perfect timing. <laughs> I told her, bust down my AP. Yeah, she will never know when perfect timing is with that shit too, fool. Because I'm thinking about it. When I got a house, I don't know if I really could have afforded a house like that. Yeah, you was good. Yeah, you were good. Yeah, you was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I would, I would, just jumped you know, I would apply. Like, nah, not yet. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was, it was time. I would, I would yeah. apply for a house and, and not knowing I was eligible. And it, just, it, you know. it was time. It was the times that we were in. The rates were right. Man. The location was right. Everything was that perfect shit time. Right. Yeah, yeah, that, that, yeah, was, that perfect. was that was perfect time. For real. It was executed. That was like when the. Uh, Gymnastic people hit the ground. Yeah, yeah. That's why JD yeah. says you can't bring me back in that building like that, my boy. Oh, here you go. You better get your oh, camera ready. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't got um, about him. He fabricating stories. Speaking of houses, uh, this week, big, big, big news from the Federal Reserve. We got a half a point uh, rate cut. Uh, the interest rate dropped by a half a point. Uh, basically, what it means to you and your wallet. Uh, you're going to see stuff like uh, credit cards. Since most credit cards have variable rates, you're going to see those directly come down for, for your payments. Uh, you'll probably see that and feel that coming. Mortgage rates have dropped down. I was trying to find BT, Big Swole. Mm-hmm. I, I couldn't I pull up his Instagram, well. but he he made a post um, showing you the how you're now eligible for, and don't quote me to this, but from that rate cut, now you're able to afford 130000 more in a house now. 
just That's by dope. that half a point of a rate cut. So it was cool how he broke it down from that angle because yeah. now you can see, like, oh, shit, I was about to get 300 Now I can get 450 right. Okay, or 430 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So with the same thing. So these rates do matter. Like, I know a lot of people don't look at interest rates sometimes, but interest rates kind of rule the world. Like, whatever that interest rate dictate, yeah. that's how that shit goes. So, uh, so you'll see some of that for mortgage rates. Um, even though they fixed, it will help for people who just gump, jumping in. Auto loans, um, that you're going to see that kind of come down. Student loan, interest rate, you're going to see that kind of come down. Savings rates, things like that on your like CDs and savings stuff, you'll see that come down as well. So overall, it's a good trend. They also said that uh, probably by the middle of next year that they're going to drop it down another 20.25. Um, and then maybe even think about a whole nother point. So when you start feeling that shit, we're going to be back to yeah, yeah. celebrate good yeah, yeah. time. Come on. I might go buy me a whale or something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to name that nigga Willie. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, you know. So you give me that kind of shit, man, because I feel like. I ain't know that. That's good news. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, the Fed just passed that. So that was dope. Yeah. They, they did. I think that was Friday. Yeah. Thursday or Friday. Thursday or Friday. Right. So you're gonna you're gonna feel it, but it's gonna be slow. You, yeah. And that's something. And that's a good thing, man. Like <clears throat> it's it's coming. That lets you know like we're we're getting to a better place. Like if you look around, of How course often? the election's coming. So you see these gas prices and you're loving it. I know I'm loving it right now. So you know. How often these changes happen? Or is it random it just, or it, it just depends it, on I mean, the it depends. It depends on the fluctuation a lot. Like, like, think about it. We couldn't have planned for a pandemic. So they had to make adjustments. Like I said, everything is routine until some shit in the game come. Right. And we know shit in the game come, you just don't know when or where. So yeah, so everything gonna be routine until some shit in the game. Fact. Some shit in the game. Yep, and so COVID was some shit in the game. Big shit in the game. That was real. <laughs> Big monster shit. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I, I forgot what the fuck I was gonna say before Todd so rudely interrupted me. I some shit time. in the game. Uh, <laughs> talking about rates and dropping and- I don't know, but- point. In either either way though, that shit gonna make it much. Oh, I was trying to say like it's not gonna be something that you might get to feel instantly, yeah. but as time progress, you might slowly start seeing things uh, come down. Just like if you think about it, shit kind of gradually got high, and then it was just like, what in the fuck going on? Yeah, Why the yeah, fuck yeah. I ain't got no money? Right. Yeah, it was like it. All it was, groceries. Yeah, it was like whoa. Um, and I was having a conversation with somebody because <clears throat> coming off the tail end of what happened with me and who, um. People was like, well, you know, I thought still traumatized. I thought that you, you know, they they gave all that back. Yeah, nigga, but when you shit, give all that up. back and then you had to do all of these things to keep afloat. The same bills. Shit, same nigga. Same. And and then interest rates, you know right. what I'm saying? That shit make it higher. So like mm -hmm. if if a half a point just made somebody be able to be eligible for 130,000 or 140,000 more in a house, now just imagine putting all that stuff on credit cards or or right. or, or borrowing to, against stuff like that, like nigga, that shit don't get fixed with right. in one swoop like that. So I can't wait to go back to the car dealership, run the numbers again, run them again. Yeah, yeah, it's time. <laughs> yep. So uh, shout out to the uh, Federal Reserve. Hopefully, y'all will start feeling uh, more effects of it. We've been waiting for relief. Uh, I'm, going so. buy, I'm going to buy some shit. It's time. <clears throat> Did y'all see that Mark Cuban? Big business. Uh, Mark Cuban. He's showing interest in inquiring. Uh, X and Fox News. Inquiring. Um, mm -hmm. Fox and X News? No, Twitter X. He wants to buy it. Like, hey, come off of it. Uh, uh, Elon? Elon? Elon having too much fun, man. Elon ain't about to sell that shit. Elon dropped that bitch 75%. <laughs> Elon, weird, man. That's probably just going to be his little fun little hobby just to say he have some in his pocket. He ain't hurting for it. He'd be all right. Um, I think I it would be dope to see those two entities run by somebody like Mark Human. Yeah. Yeah. Who that? Cause uh yeah, Twitter needs some censorship. Man, it's be some wild stuff on on Twitter, man. Yeah, it's gonna show any and everything on Twitter. It's Killings, X. head chopping, or X, whatever. Head chopping, stuff happening to babies, animals, just everything. Pull, pull I mean, that some cord, kind dude. of censorship. Uh, do you think that um, it just started yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. Do you think that um, this is one of the things where he's like, okay, enough for this nigga um Elon on this bitch, cause that nigga been wilding lately, that he. All of a sudden, want to just purchase that shit? X. I wonder what he said. I'm pretty sure you know he oh, gets the reason behind that. Crazy on that bitch fool. Yeah, he no, 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 I'm talking about I'm talking about Mark Cuban. Um, he oh. normally does, you know, break down if he's willing to buy something, gonna buy something. He usually shares his reasoning. But yeah, Elon been wilding, man. Elon ain't getting rid of that. He said it's the, the system was designed to deliver ads of any media type for social media and any other software with a user profile. Mm -hmm. 
déterminante, tu vois. Je sais. 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 Je While uh, sharing the previous post of the patency of a new software. I don't think Elon, I, I, he not going to sell that shit like who yeah, said. No. He, he, he his does. ego is too, yeah, this, you know. This is my baby. This is my toy. This is my yeah. clean car in the garage. It's crazy because Elon doing some live ass shit. Yeah. Uh, but he also saying some wild ass shit. Wild so it's like, shit. Mm-hmm. He being know. extra wild. He going to the moon though. Yeah. He going to pick them people up. And, and he making the, the brain work better or something. Mm-hmm. Make you be able to hear. He doing you, something. He putting an uh, iPhone in your head. Something. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Siri, <laughs> why the fuck Siri keep talking to me? Nigga Shut got, up! Nigga got a Bion's chip in his forehead. Um, who? I got a study for you. What we looking for? And it's kind of actually tie into it's my normal study for you, but it also ties into things that we've been talking about periodically around here. Uh, psychologists say having at least one lazy day per week can reduce stress and muscle tension. It can decrease the risk of depression, anxiety, and other mental issues. I could believe it. It's, uh, I agree. I agree. I agree. I just wish I could do, could do, could do. You know. So sitting um, here, nigga, taking all shit and taking the goddamn credit for it. It said, uh, "Rest, <laughs> rest uh, allows the body and mind to unwind, can effectively counteract these stressors. Um, it lowers your cortisol levels, can lead to the reduction in muscle tension, which often accumulates due to prolonged stress and poor posture from working long hours." Mm-hmm. Believable, very believable, very livable. Nigga is experiencing it now. Some of my best days is when I just take off and do nothing. And lay in the bed and watch TV and watch TV shows, get up, go get some water, some food, lay back down and do the same thing over again. Yeah. I feel like... Uh, nothing feels better. I feel like yeah. as long as I've been like an adult, like from college, all the way to now, I've always had busy weeks and days. Like, you know, you think about football, you had to get up, and I went to work, and then we worked out, and then you had meetings, then you had, it was always busy-ass goddamn days. Uh, You had some downtime, but it was a lot of busy days. But one thing that has always been effective for me is just to have that one day a week where I recharge. Every now and then I miss it. Like, I miss that one day, and then you got to wait. But I do feel the difference. Because, like, when I be at my, you know, peak of tired during the week, like sometimes Wednesday, Thursday, be like, boy, Mm -hmm. I'm getting beat up. I do feel like now, especially as I'm getting older, things get to me a lot more. Uh, not that I be in there, man, shut the fuck up, but like everything, <laughs> irritated, e- everything seems a lot more. Mm-hmm. And literally, like, it's like, man, I gotta do this. I gotta, I gotta pay for God. No, Damn. Dog, like right. this. And I be like, kind of almost woe is me. Mm-hmm. But I get that good rest. I come back the next day. I'm like, man, fuck all that shit. Nigga. <laughs> what the fuck you were tripping? Like, nigga, why you were tripping over that? So. I actually believe that this is a true post. So for people, you know, make sure you get your little one day. It's a lot of people who don't know how to rest up. I'm going to try. I be wanting to, fool. I just don't be able to. Like, I'd love to just lay around all morning today. Could. Would have loved to do it yesterday. Could. Had to get up to work, you know. Yeah, we, like, man. Tell you, man. You niggas going to start cutting checks around this whole for the advice that we give here at the dumbest, okay? Mm-hmm. Psychologist. <laughs> for real. Because we said uh, that shit, what, a so, year ago? So we didn't need I wonder, it, yeah. what's, I wonder what's the difference in numbers, men compared to women. For the simple fact, I think that that study also goes into a I man thing. Like we are always on worried the about side than it is trying women. to go and take care of some shit and making sure they have this and they have that. And it's harder for us to... Re- I ain't going to say it's harder. I ain't going to say that. I'm going to push but, back. Um, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, only because... I, I think that's equal men and women because I, I know a lot of women it's hard for them to rest too because mm-hmm. they're busy. So yeah. the time they wake up, they doing something. Uh, they may not they may not go out the house or something, but they doing they doing shit and mm-hmm. they doing this and doing that. And I think for women sometimes they can run the risk of uh, running themselves real low. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think when they get to that low point, I think it's kind of lower. Yeah, I think it's kind of yeah, I think it's almost harder on them. Uh, and you're gonna feel it too. Look at you, you feminist. You would have been a feminist. What? I ain't mad at you. It's true. <laughs> shit. Feminist of the month. Yeah, it's true. Like I just think that women <laughs> like shit. We feminist. we run a lot. We do a lot. But I think for them, when they get run low, nigga, you're gonna feel it. Everything stops. You gonna feel it. I know that. No crushing. You're gonna. No feel cooking. It. No smiling. Talking. No. You're gonna make love it, dove it. <laughs> <laughs> but, that, but that's why I think it's good. I think it's good as men sometimes. I know we be feeling like our plate heavy, but I think sometimes when you see the opportunity, like when you see them getting into that something, like that spell, like, hey, you, you need me to 
do something? Like, hey, you want me to grab that? This, this. Which the thing that I hate the most is, um, Washing dishes. why, why you gotta ask me? Just do it. So I don't <laughs> like shit like that. No, I'm asking you because I don't normally just do it. So I'm asking. What I'm supposed to? Do? I don't know. Who knows, man? If I know your routine, I just like I said, watching this. I'll go bust these suds for you right quick. I know. I but might what, what, but what if it's something specific you won't need, you know? And I don't know what that is. Just tell me. Yeah. yeah. Tell you tell me. Yeah. Man, I I don't mind. <laughs> I had that conversation before though, and and they've said like, um, when I say this conversation, like with different women, it was like. Why should women have to tell you that, or why should you? And it's like, why not? Why not? Yeah. Shit, just tell me. It. I don't mind helping. Like, if that helps, if that helps achieve a result or a goal, just mm-hmm. like, why that gotta be a bad thing? And I don't want to. How could I say this? Oh uh, boy, I don't. <laughs> I don't you wanna, ask, no, nah, I don't want to volunteer my services in an area and it gets no credit. Whereas you really wanted me to do this, just ask me to do this. That should be wild when you do it and you don't get no goddamn credit for yes, it. Yes, never thank you until you print well. You need you come Well, I didn't ask you to do it. Fuck you. What? Yeah. Right. See, that's the that's the problem. What you're supposed to do. <laughs> <That's> right. The, <laughs> right. So I ask for I what I want. It. So yeah. if I want something I ask for. Most people do. I try. Because I mean that's the easier you but know, the easiest more effective is, is way of doing it. I don't want much though. I just want food. That's it. Of course from time to time. See? Nah, nigga, crazy. I don't ask. <laughs> I don't ask. Y'all have a long list of things y'all ask for on a day to day basis. I don't. Oh uh, no, I don't think I do. Just a glass of water. <laughs> just a glass of water. Bad man, I'm over there. I think I asked his uh, slave requirements, <laughs> ain't it? <laughs> Jail <laughs> requirements. Yeah. That probably baby. was offensive. Oh, the <laughs> slave requirements. Why would you say that? <laughs> My answer. My nigga said he just need some water. God damn. <laughs> that, hey, that's a good, cool bar. Oh boy, I don't want a sandwich. But I think, okay. Do y'all feel like it, as men, y'all are easy to please? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Most just, men feel like they that. are. I just say I just want to eat. I'm good. I, it's real easy, man. I don't, I don't. So you just get fed, you good? I don't think that that's it. About yeah. the top three. Fed, uh, the F word. <laughs> the F word. The F word. That's wild. I'm trying to think of another F. Freak. <laughs> I mean, that goes into the second one. You fold. Know. Well, yeah, she fold. I wash the clothes. She fold. So, you know, that's my three. I'm gonna keep the house clean. Keep it nice, tidy. Who to wash your clothes? <laughs> Who to probably put the towels, the 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 colors, the no, white. I separate. I separate. <laughs> If, who the washing clothes is wild, He would have definitely put if the whole crop pot in the refrigerator when it's time to put the food up. Oh, yeah. I'm he a, definitely I'm, does I'm putting that. a big cast iron in I'm there. Sorry. The cast iron hitting the fridge. <laughs> Depending on how much in there, but the cast iron is going in there. <laughs> who, the, who the doing house chores just sound wild to me, cuz? cast iron going in there. Put the food up. The nigga just grab the whole crop pot and put it in the refrigerator. Hey, look. Hey, I'm good like, at laundry. Hey, cool. look. I imagine uh, who the uh, mopping. That been sideways. <laughs> <laughs> that been about to fall out there. I imagine who the mopping like uh, Hakeem on coming to the mirror where he was just pushing the whole bucket. <laughs> it was easy. It worked. It worked. But nah, I can't I'm see good. who to do the household chores. I'm though. good at laundry, man. That's what I grew up on. Mom grew, my moms grew up working in the laundry at the uh, at the hotel. So, you know, uh, it's iron. They had big and, industrial. They probably yeah, big, 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 Oof. Big that's loads. who they did. <laughs> <laughs> big, big shit was, that's how I got my clothes on for school. Shots up. Nah. But that's how I learned how to iron. Nah, but you but you right. My, mom did goddamn prep a nigga real good for cleaning and, and getting like, she made me, I think I'll buy 10. Look, nigga, these are colors. These are. These are this, this, this. Now I don't do the, I don't do the separation of the colors like, oh yeah, like light colors and, and dark colors. Yeah, colors, color. color. Yeah. Uh, and I do delicates, especially right. with so like new, a lot of those t-shirts and shit I wear. That bitches go on delicate. Yeah. Hang dry. I'm gonna put them on delicate dry. Mm-hmm. But uh, other than that, yeah. Look at us talking about laundry. I don't do the delicates. That's why my my shirts begin two two <laughs> wells and they out of the, yeah, well, some of that stuff only meant two for two one or two wells. Well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, some of the material on them bitches gonna be laser. But um, music, future drop. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Future back. <clears throat> Man. Uh, drop mixtape Pluto. Uh, Hot fire. Did y'all get a chance to check it out? And if so, shit, what y'all feeling about future? It's all I checked out. And future goaded, like Young G Boss would say, future goaded. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the project pretty good, man. I liked it. It got some pretty cool vibes on there. 
Future's going to be future, so you know all of the beats going to be crazy on there. Every last one of them, even though the ones that's a little offbeat at times, all on fire. Um, my boy got some cool little lingo and wordplay that he always puts together. You know what and I love about this is the this is the the, the mixtape future. That like, who the face? Is it is it a mixtape or is it an album? It's a mixtape. It's a mixtape. Mix okay. It sounds like mixtape future, and I love the fact that nigga ain't got no features on that joint. Straight future. Not a nail, not a. Yeah, I like it. I think it was real dope. Um, man, them beats, man. The future know how to find a production, boy. and Ooh, we. and I played them on the big, big speakers. Oh yeah. Uh, and, the, and the house, man. It, ooh, I was like, oh, boy. I don't get to do that often. But uh, everybody had love like Saturday. The kid in the candy yeah, store. yeah. You know, I can't. Get that bitch up loud here. Yeah, I, don't get I was in that bitch. Right. I don't, cause like you know, uh, Logan be home and running around, so you can't. Like, I'm as soon as he, as soon as bitch, just, ooh, so, <laughs> you know, when she died, just like put the AirPods in. <laughs> but it's crazy, cause you'll play all blues music, and he be in that bitch, stand up in it. <laughs> she don't know what it means, though. You know that's what I'm true. So it's easy. Yeah. 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 Then we, yeah. That's like when we go back and listen to songs. Well, shit, she know what, what you, that meant? You saying your sister saw me <laughs> <laughs> creeping out the holiday <laughs> end. She don't know what that all means. <laughs> <laughs> Blues she like is it. wild, who? She like it. Fool, I'm going to tell you. So, like when you were talking about how um, they all start cussing and Logan was like, ooh. So I called it, fool. I called it. You know how nigga answer the phone. But what the you know, Taylor was right here in the car. Mm-hmm. I was like, you heard it cut Taylor. She was like, yes. He was like, so? You should put me on speakerphone. <laughs> <laughs> that's your fuck. No, that's your fuck. Cause he no, know I'm exactly through the car. You know what I'm saying? He know exactly how we answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I said, Tell you hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah. He didn't acknowledge what he said. I'm, I'm sorry, Taylor. Your daddy made me do it. Somehow I said, nigga said, so? You should have your speaker. <laughs> <laughs> she just got to learn a lesson. Uh-huh. Shit. That's it. Hey man, I didn't know. I didn't mean to. This is how adults and adult friends. I like me calling adult. him in a meeting. Hey, let me call my friend real quick. Boy, what the fuck you want? <laughs> I'm in a meeting. I'm gonna shoot you a text or something. Hey, answer the phone. Hey, answer right, the phone. Huh? I'm about to call you. I'm in a meeting. <laughs> nah, but um, we were talking about the future. That shit jamming. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that boy production on his thing is crazy. Yeah, that boy went nuts. Um, what are we gonna talk about his place? I mean, G Boss did on the way over here. He said he got to redo that Atlanta listen. I was like, he might want. He might be my one. As far as song making, impact, longevity, it's future. One for me. Future stayed true to who he was. He, he began this and he's still what he is today. So that's why you kind of be like, okay, he's still doing the same thing he did when he first came out. Mm-hmm. So you got to kind of, and, and it's still jamming. He had like a little bit of fall off in that little milk, like that. I was about to say that. Yeah, but it it, it was it was. I was about to say it. I want to put it on. You want to play? It was it was a couple. It it was some even after that. Like it, he was being faithful. It was something. Uh, I can't think of the albums. I have to look at it. But yeah, but 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 now he's back. The one with my collection on it. I like and and everything after Dirty Sprite too. There was it kind of got a little shaky. Uh, Let's see. Maybe Give like two or the, three in there, and the then album list. Yeah, see, after Dirty oh, Sprite too. Yeah. See that was that was all right. It was straight. That was that was that one was cool. Yeah, that was really it. it, was, it, it, was, it was, see, I knew I wasn't tripping. It, it it was like two or three of them in there that was just kind of all right. We still don't trust Hendrix. I yeah, liked I like evil. Evil, evil only had just that one song. I, I take my drug and those that when they come on, that was it. Yeah, love, like, niggas love. It was kind of like the downside. I like but right now he been hot. Well, that fish boy, he can't miss. Yeah. Oh no, um, he been falling off ass for a long time. Like, this is third. Like, we still don't trust you. Like, yeah. Uh, you uh, shout out Future. Freak. If you haven't listened to it, go back She's and check out freak, it. Yeah. Um, the we baby. Still don't trust you. The baby uh, got a mixtape coming up. It's coming out <laughs> this Friday. Actually, did y'all see that? Uh, Listen to the run he been on with these little freestyles he been dropping. The boy been, he been reciting. He been talking a little bit. We are gonna see what he talking about on that mixtape. I'm 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 eager to check it out. I, I can't lie, you know, cause to me the last live album from that dude was Kirk. It's like his albums don't do right, but them little snippets and them freestyles he, he be going, be going crazy. crazy. He be pump faking, man. That's what it is. Them them snippets he go crazy. Then we get a project and it be the. Same, shit. same song, 
same cadence almost for the most. Sometimes he try to switch it up and speed it up and slow it down, but at the end of the day, he still sound the same, up the same, up the same. True. Um, and is that being selfish? Because in some instances, most people do. Maybe we just don't like his same and the same and the same. Well, see, that's that, we, future. I just said it. From when he first started to now, mm-hmm. that's the same future, mm-hmm. in my opinion. He just saying live cool shit. Live like, as hell. Beats, talking about drugs and hoes. I don't like <laughs> from Kurt to whatever anything he put out after. It, it hasn't been on the same. It, it hasn't aligned. Something is missing. I don't know <clears throat> what it is, but like when he had that run with Shug, that shit was live. Is it over for my boy? Because we ain't seen him in forever, little baby. Nah. I think he still got a I little think, time. Yeah, I think, yeah, he just. I know. think he got time. But but with Future, uh, going back to Future, um, with, with him, it made me think about somebody who I do think is over with. And it's kind of hard to say that they over with. They good at making music and they can rap their ass off, but. I don't know if they can make anything good that we're going to really like. And that's Ross. And I mm. thought I'd never say that. It might be. It might be time. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I got to see. I'm, His I'm last few on. projects been pretty midi. Yeah. Medieval. And then, um, and, and, and then he hadn't even gave us a snippet or a feature or nothing that sounded like, okay. Ross too rich now, man. Yeah, I think he just. They are all rich. Future too rich. It's just different. Like I think he on some other shit. Like, and, like CEO, still, you know, mogul, which, which, which is great. Type but you are great. a rapper. I Facts. I know. I, I think it's a social media curse. <laughs> when he start with the curse. Too active. So much. Yeah, they like Future still, like kinda, Future still kind of. Future still kind of behind the scenes. We won't see him on there wilding. We won't yeah. see him on there talking crazy. He might pop out and take a picture, but he's still busy being an artist. Where Ross over here doing forums and shit. So you know what I'm saying? He want to be back. Yeah, he, now he doing hella fire business. You know, so I'm only judging him business. from the rap standpoint. From the business standpoint, he doing a hell of a goddamn thing. I get it. What did you know. say his last good one was, Ross? Pull him up, pull him up for me, young G-Boss. Um, but uh, I, I don't know. Because we I'm can, Rick, we I can Rick, Rick Ross, then. I got a Rick Ross buy you. You know, stuff. determine what a fallout. I mean, the I, Rick Anthony. I think all his shit been, like, it be solid. It just. Album. We too see good to be true. On, so his bars don't match. Yeah, yeah. We see too much of that. That makes perfect sense, dude. Yeah, you see a lot of them. You see what he's doing, no so you can't. No mystique behind it no more. It's just all. You out can't. There. Yeah, you can't be like the drug dealer Rick Ross no more because nigga, I see you selling car wash bubbles and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah I see Cows you doing all this shit. shit. So, but I just be, be feeling like nigga rap about these big ass. Big, like that's why I thought he could keep going because he I made yacht too. luxury music. Nigga, you taking meetings with this person yeah, and this yeah. person and. You know what I'm saying? Like, make that shit live. This shit was always like, classic. It's a graduation. I, I feel like we've never seen that graduation album from nobody, though. Right. Like, it's like it get hard for them to do it. What you mean? Like, the drug the, the drug rap. I don't know. We, I, ne- I, we never get to the 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 penthouse and the businesses and the- I don't agree with that. Jay-Z, Jay-Z maybe, yeah, but- Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, Jay-Z. but that's Jay-Z. it. That's kind of it, for real. I think Jesus did a good job, but- mm, Jesus was still bricks in the streets. Um, and the quality of music that sticks to quality music would be, you know. Nah, nah, I do I think, think he got an unfair it. bias. Though. I think T.I. tried it. We just ain't every, like it. Because everything we get from Jeezy, we going to always compare that shit to Trap or Die mixtapes and all that shit, too. Pull up T.I. The Pull way he came and how hot he was, we had never seen no shit like that before. Mm-hmm. Who? From Jeezy. The way he came in? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, everybody like that. So I word. think we kind of... Based everything where he dropped versus that, yeah, who he was. Dime then. Trap, like, now, never mind. He ain't graduated. That nigga the second in the last album go crazy. Dime Trap. He did. He got the trap museum. Hell I keep nah, on. He did. not The Libra. I ain't really, really get. But I, but I do Libra. think Ross can give us that Jay Z version of it. I think he can. Too. I really do think he can do that. Like, and that's how I pray. Like, that's why because he can rap and he makes good music. He get beat, good beat selection and. Man. He know how to talk that talk. It's just that lately he ain't been giving it to us. Mm-hmm. And like, I get it, y'all. Like y'all said, y'all made a good point. He is straight big. He's right hungry now, for the music right now. Yeah. He but is pro. anybody? Well, what about Killer Mike? Was he ever really Killer so Mike far? Did graduate. Yeah, he got well, he gave us grown music. Yeah, yeah. but I, I was talking about the drug dealer. When he first came out, he was kind of on that fence with the the trapping and shit. Killer Mike. That uh, Pledge Allegiance to the Grind. I don't know if you ever heard that album before. But that versus the Michael album, night and day. 
But yeah, the only person that I know successfully or, uh, you know, notably would be Jay Z. I can't. The Jigga Man. Yeah. They try to build uh, Pusha T, is that? He's still rapping about Coke. I think every dope. song he talk about is <laughs> fucking. He the Coke King. Right. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Is he. Nah, <laughs> nah he never. Nah, he was, was always, always just a rapper. rapper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He rapper. never. I mean, he, he, he never tied really. street shit in it, but right. he, he just was a rapper. Right. Yeah, he was always just a storyteller. So I, I think he. He in a different category too. Yeah. I was just talking about the rap, the rapper who in the uh, the the dope butt that's in the streets that go to okay, I got some little niggas up under me to right. okay, I'm in the penthouse to like nigga, I'm out the game, I'm the boss, I'm living got luxury. Fortune, I got Fortune 500, yeah, company, like right. I, I got companies and real estate, I got const- uh, concrete companies and right. shit. Like nigga, that they talk that talk. I'm with you though. I think Ross could definitely do. Maybe that. they scared. Maybe that shit ain't gonna make good music. Maybe but, it's gonna go over too like, many. But, 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 but the same but, reason why people say about four four four, they don't like that album. I yeah. love that. A lot of people say that. I, like I love, it. I love I that love, album. I love it too. But a lot of people say they don't want to hear him talking about that. But, but and that's and that's what you fall into. The listeners, right now, we got to think about what. And that's who what, matters. Unless, right. you, unless you just yeah, want to do it for yeah. your own personal. I'm gonna put this album out. It's gonna be nothing but grown shit. Oh, talking about man. businesses and advancing in life. You don't believe what? That that part, like the listeners. I don't believe that because, like I was just saying, we gonna some listen. we gonna listen. Yeah, some projects, but we ain't the masses. You yeah, got, like trying to forty say now. We old. Just you know saying. saying? There's a lot of yeah. I'm with you, and we just now but it's also a lot of us for this that's jamming that glow real and that sex red shit. Don't say a lot of us. Saying. Include yourself. I, I, what I'm saying, I'm, I'm just saying, like you know what I'm saying. You can try yourself. to leave yourself out, then. Yeah, include yourself. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I, mean, I like sex. Shit. I ain't. I'm, I, like, I like glow real. I love glow real. She she been putting out some good shit. Get them glow. Yeah, she Get she, she been she been rocking, but I don't know, fool. Like. I think Ross could do it. I'm with you. I, I agree. Ross, I think Ross could give us some classical, adult, grown ass live music, fool, because he's been doing it years prior. So, Ross, my dog, man. Ross was he was fighting for my top three spot at a, at a point in time. He's still close though. Yeah, he's still up there. Now. Hey, I mean, I, I'm not judging him off of not dropping anything. It just, I don't know. I ain't seen him the last few projects. I hadn't seen it be what I desired it to be. I don't honestly. know. But I don't know if nothing else came out. I ain't listening to nothing but future. Yeah, it, that was it. It, it was yeah, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the little fruit. What, what's the dude that I put it in the group? Uh, the future. little. <laughs> I, I slide in your DMs. He dropped the little. Uh, Sing it again. The little. The little. Trying, what is four bats? Four bars. Y'all little, know you talking about the little nigga that was oh, the he, song. He put something out or just a song. He, he did a song with little baby. I put it in the group. It was a single. I ain't uh, four. What is it? Four bar. What's that name? Four bats. Four bats. Yeah, him. It's he, five. It's, it's pretty dope. Is he from it's, Atlanta? It's laid back and smooth. I thought he was from Texas. Or I think something. everybody from Atlanta. <clears throat> I don't know. That, Google it. Where, where is Four Bats from? I like I like his little style though. I like I only know that little song. He not. Go right out of Wikipedia. Oh, no. American singer songwriter. Anyway, Click on it. My boy say he from London. <laughs> <laughs> he from London. They say. Where the fuck that nigga from? Yeah, he from Texas. Yeah, I thought I thought it was okay. Texas. Dallas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I thought that because of Drake. I thought that nigga was. Yeah, hey, I I knew it was. I thought yeah. it was Texas. Nico Bennett. Yeah, but he got a song with Lil Baby. I put it in the group. Wikipedia so no. So. Yeah, don't even know everything. <laughs> knows it. Right. Dallas, Texas went to. I also noticed too. Ebenezer High School. I don't know if graduated. y'all noticed too that everybody going these uh, mixtapes. Uh, and it spoke to one of my music the insiders. What is the difference, man? I don't know the difference. Well. All that they they said that lately that a lot of people been having trouble getting those clearances and getting things cleared. So the mixtape is back to what it was. Like, I put this out, get hot, get a lot of streams. I can make money on that side and then get show money um, versus trying to go through all the fucking headache of trying to put all out the albums and all, and all that. that. Yeah, and trying to get all that shit cleared. But I wonder how that But works. you can't perform that shit, though, right? Can you? Yeah, you can perform yeah. it. You just can't profit you can, off if you of can it. Put it on, what you talking about? Like you can't sit there and like, like sell this single that ain't been clear. Gotcha. Yeah, you can perform it. I ain't know. You can perform with shit. You can perform if you want to. Ty, you could go to the BJCC right now and perform all my right care shit. Oh, Nothing no. gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You're gonna have two fans in there. <laughs> Three. We be right care if you well, want. I'm to. saying we belong together. But if you put that bitch on Apple, they <laughs> gonna have. They <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna be in that bitch singing to uh, the old coworker. Right. No, my, my boy who won't help nobody. Now get oh, this bullshit out. Sit your ass down. What the fuck I had told you this week about Granddad? Now I'm like, man, I'm like Granddad now. What the fuck I was talking about? You remember? I don't remember. Damn. Who. 
Probably a Charleston reference. Think about something Charleston. Did no, it was it was my own thing, and I'm like, damn, I must be, I am like granddad and them. I can't remember what it was. Told my boy I couldn't fucking lights off at four in the morning. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> college football. Uh, just a recap of this week, man. With some good games on, man. USC, uh, uh, Michigan, uh, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Colorado, Baylor, Clemson, um, and. Uh, I just only brought Clemson up because them niggas look a lot better Damn good. than that first um, game. But Georgia do that NC too. State, yeah. But USC, Michigan. Right. Uh, Michigan won 27-24, ran for 1,000 yards. <laughs> Threw for 32. 32 right. yards. Uh, did y'all watch that game? And if so, what was y'all takeaway? Michigan trash. They won't finish in the top. Not, but you, you say that, but they, they that's, that's we've who been, they been. They, who they been for the last who? few years. It They've is. been a running look, team. And guess what? That man is making San Diego look like Michigan, and them boys winning to run that bitch down the NFL throat. It's the same kind of concept, and they ran that bitch crazy last year too. Two weeks, same kind of concept. Two weeks in the NFL. But if you think about it, I, I've been saying this for a long time. Now they ain't even. I was about to say, I, 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 I've been saying that for a long time. People have spread so much, and, and they've they created personnel around spread. Mm-hmm. You got thin, slimmer linebackers. You got thin, slimmer DN linemen. I mean, lean on, them. lean them. Yeah, lay on them niggas. Like, that power running game might actually start working, man. And to see niggas get back in an eye on your ass, and they got a real fullback or power trap in your ass, man, I don't know. I can't, I can't call them trash when they dominate. And we know you running the ball. And they, they dominated a good, decent opponent. Texas dominated them. I mean, dominated. They did. They did. I agree with that. So, I don't think they. I, I don't think they knew who they was just yet. And I still don't think they fully know who they are. Texas is a good team. I'm just not going to say it's right. not going to work, though, and that they sorry. Okay, so they made it all the way to the playoffs doing that shit last year. They won the championship and beat Alabama. They did doing that shit. Same they shit. did. Nothing different. They did. So they just they got that quarterback, and then I think if they stick with DJ Orgy, they, their run game is going to be that, and they're going that's going to open up these little bootlegs, little quick RPOs, little quick wide open one on ones. I tell you, I tell you, man, uh, going against a true power running team, man, that shit hard. Like as a as a especially as these linebackers who not used to that shit. Man, them niggas coming downhill on your ass. Because I be watching the game sometimes. These niggas, because of the spread and the RPO options and shit, they have to be soft they on the run. have to be soft on the run. And them niggas be sitting there, and they be so soft. Like, I be like, damn, the linebacker, go. Can't. Bow. <laughs> Can't. Like that, that, um, that run that actually got them to the red zone, that Michigan game. Did you see that? Which one? From the quarterback? Or no, from, from the running number back. 20? Number 20. Yeah. That was poor tackling. It was, but that's gonna Four happen tackles. too when you get athletes out. When you get good, athletes. no, he met him in the hole. Nigga broke two, three tackles. That's part or of the game. Tom. Or that's good running. I get it. I get it. It's part Why of the it game. can't be good running? It was. It was good hard <laughs> running from the guy. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is, you got one team that's not known known for defense. Like you supposed to beat USC, LSU, was right or wrong. Yeah, agreed. All right, so but then well, we couldn't run against them though. You, 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 well, you, we couldn't run against them. Yeah, they give them the ball. The same shit we were talking about yesterday with we Colorado. Tried. They don't get a running back. Now nah, we ball. tried. We did try. I'm getting be honest. We tried. Look we, at LSU running back. The ball freshman through these past two weeks. Like that he been developed. balling. I know. We didn't know who he was until week three. That's what I'm saying. Like sometimes you're gonna go at the first game of the season. You're gonna go with your guy, and then not even that. We had a backup guy. He was actually like fourth on the uh, depth chart coming out of camp. So you know he just eventually got his shot, got two carries, and ran on well. And from now on, he just became – he's the guy. He's the guy mind. now. He's, at this point, he's the guy. But if he wouldn't have done well on those first two, three runs he had, he'd probably be back then. It's just – I, okay. I love the little nigga. I'll take it back. Y'all say Michigan I'm not saying they're trash. great. I'm not saying they're great. Okay. They possibly play <laughs> I'm just saying it's hard to ride off what you're saying, that shit trash and they ain't going to work. It worked. That's what they've been. And it's worked. We, we were talking about them last year. About always running the ball and, and saying they can't beat nobody doing it. Right. And they beat and everybody. Because they, they, yeah, <laughs> right. they play good defense mm-hmm. and they run the fuck out that bitch. Right. They got some they got some studs over there on, on they, they got some studs on defense. On defense. Right. They mm-hmm. do. They do. I, I give them that. But offensively, like you're gonna have to put up points in with this style of, of play. They're they're the only ones that's running that power football type shit that we mm-hmm. see. Like, did you see Texas yesterday? Mm-hmm. A little bit. Them niggas Colorado, them niggas throwing that bitch twenty three times before halftime. Who? That don't mean nothing. That, that don't means mean it's like always work. if you. But what I'm saying is that if, don't mean you have to do it. If your defense you don't, is good and solid, if your mean defense you can't stop this team from getting on the scoreboard, that that forces you into another 
that that forces you to open up your your um your playbook. I agree. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, you can't play from behind and you running the fucking football. I'm not fighting for Michigan here, Tony. Yeah, I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fighting for Michigan. I, don't, I just don't think that. I don't like, think I think you should have a balanced playbook, yes. Mm -hmm. Them niggas shit ain't balanced at all. It's, but like you said, they won the championship last year and not staying. Mm -hmm. Now, they were better. They were, they were better passers. So right. I think that the quarterback just going to have to learn. To, and by week, he got to grow up fast. Yeah, yeah. By week eight, nine, he going to have to know how to be right. an okay passer. He ain't got to yeah. be goddamn. I, I will right. say, when I first. Cut on the TV, I'm like, man, I felt like old, I, I, felt, I felt like granddad and them. <laughs> Nigga, this ain't the Rose, but I don't want to see Michigan and you. It looked, it just looked weird. Yeah, I liked it. Um, I liked it. it but but it, it, it the when I saw Syracuse and Stanford, I was like, weird. Yeah. This shit looks so <laughs> weird. But Michigan and USC, it's Michigan. turned out to be a good game. Pretty but good I, game. I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't really fully like it, but. I'll accept it. And if it, they give us good games like that, then. Yeah. I hated the fact that all Good teams was going to two conferences, but hey, week to week is making for good two conference Great football. Great football. Shit, from yeah, both of them yeah. conferences. Some real, and even still, the rest of the Big 12 is still showing some decent games, too. So, yeah. Um, it's turned, it's, so football, far, football-wise, yeah. it's turned out okay for me. Uh, Oklahoma, Tennessee, y'all watched it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a little bit. One, uh, Oklahoma fully dominated them. Um Defensively, so what to say? Like uh, Tennessee defense is pretty damn good. Bro. Pretty fucking good. Boy, it's pretty good, man. I ain't expect them to come out and just basically get the quarterback bit. Now they got a quarterback controversy coming out of it because they they offense couldn't do anything against a real good defense. Um, and I think I picked fucking Oklahoma to win that game too. Yeah, well, yeah you, you know, I was you know the standings. You know, stupid. big stock, <laughs> <laughs> big stock at the top. I was taking chance, uh, man, I was but yeah, it was, it's, Tennessee looked real good. I, I can't wait to see what they do. Uh, and I think that Oklahoma, I think Oklahoma's gonna be in trouble. Look like when they get into the meat of the SEC. I oh, think they they not. Did you see that shit going for their schedule? Brutal. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Boy, they, they showed got some games. Boy, no, they showed um, somebody else too. Oh my God, they showed somebody's schedule. Florida too. I think. Who did Florida. Auburn? Who did Florida Auburn? Who did Auburn play? Um, who they lost to? Shit, um, they lost to or maybe Ar it was, Ar Arkansas. Uh, man, whoever they schedule, they showed them niggas game. They they play. Whoever played one and two back to back, they played Georgia, then, then Bama. Alabama, then uh, seven, then five I think or some it's shit. Them or Ole Miss, somebody like that. Ole Miss still ain't played nobody yet though. They look amazing, but they ain't played. Ole Miss yet. shit, it's, not it's as not, bad. It's knock on them. Maybe it wasn't who gotta, Auburn played, and maybe it might be Auburn. I don't know who it is, but whoever got to play, they play one next game. Go back to the big uh, schedule. Too. Whoever who Georgia play next? Alabama. Alabama. They play Saturday. And it wasn't them. See, them boys got Georgia, then they got Missouri, Kentucky. Uh, I'm telling you, you might you might have been looking at Florida schedule, fool, because I'm telling you. It might have been Oklahoma then. That might have been yeah, who they it was. They should, Whoever they it was, it was brutal as fuck. Let's see who y'all got. Yeah, Texas, yeah, South, Texas Carolina, South Carolina, Carolina, Ole Miss, Ole Miss. Yeah. Bama, Missouri. Missouri. Yeah, that's who it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shit. Oklahoma, y'all in for a yeah. run, and y'all don't know who y'all quarterback is right now. Cause I, I like when I saw, it, I tried to take a picture of it, but I was slow. By the time I got up there, they took that bitch down. You was acting like Granddaddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How this thing work? Yeah. <laughs> With that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, Colorado and Baylor, uh, exciting game, man. They uh, won. Uh, they threw a hail mary. I don't know if anybody got to see it, but. Uh, classic fucking ending uh, with a hail mary, then an overtime touchdown, then a. a Travis Hunter fumble. forced the fumble at the one inch line uh, to give Colorado the win. Uh, they ended up winning 38 31. Uh, big game. Uh, what was y'all takeaways from that? Best Travis. athlete in the game right now. Travis, Travis Hunter. Hunter. Man, that man, now, I never seen no shit like Best this. Best athlete in the game, man. That, that shit is wild. Nah, I ain't seen nothing like this. And it don't never. You know who it remind me of? Hmm. That nigga 2J. James, I don't James know the nigga up. in the hood that never made it out. That was the <laughs> livest nigga you ever seen play football on both sides of the goddamn. <laughs> and it was a, it was a nigga in every in every city in America he who lying. could do this at, at the park ball level yeah. and uh, seven U. Some of the best athletes did not play fucking organized sports. I ain't never seen nothing like this man. Past park. This man on the college football level going, going over 100, 150 yeah. yards, three straight games. And playing every single snap on defense. And Nigga playing ninety percent of the snaps on offense. Five offense. total plays, bro. And he still be looking like he could keep and on that's, going, that's fool. That's the shit that blows like my fucking mind, fool. Did you see that man celebrating after the game? Though? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That man Nigga my... still up and wired, fool. Uh -huh. I get adrenaline, but that shit now just something totally different. Fool. He just it's just in him, man. Some um, people have that that high energy factor. So I, I think I I I told Todd uh earlier today, I was like, 
Uh, they needed a big win like this. Yes. They needed yeah. a win for sure, yeah. where they had to gr- grit it out. They were down fourteen at one point, yeah. took eight uh, and it, and he did get sacked a lot. There was a few holding penalties on big plays that they had, yeah. uh, and it's a game that challenged the players to have to dig deep. Uh, and them boys held it together. It, it was easy for a team like this, especially with all the expectations on them and all the great stars that they got over there to implode. But they they held on, and wins like this build a lot of confidence. And the, the, the fans going to love it, right. the excitement on the campus. It's going to make them hopefully play harder the next one because I, I felt like this was a game they had to get they had to because have it's going to get – it's gonna yeah, to, to make them feel good about themselves and give them some motivation. So, uh, shout out to Dion, man. They got a lot of shit to clean up, though, man. They, they make they, they start too slow. They make a lot of fucking mistakes. They're very undisciplined at times. And who you're right. I, I have to give you your credit. Shadour was making me mad a little bit holding, last night because that bitch. I, I, either he can't get that bitch off, it was a nigga back that bitch in two seconds, mm-hmm. or he does hold. It's like he can't it's move. Never on time. Some, sometimes he he don't know when to step up or around the pocket, yeah, and extend it sometimes. But it's like his awareness to me is his, his aware. If he improved that awareness, he got every single tool. He has the height. He has the arm strength. He has the weak, man. The, the accuracy. The, man, he threw a ball one time to. Uh, to to Hunter, Hunter dropped it because the safety put some on him. Yeah, mm-hmm. but man, I can't believe he, he squ- man he squ- he squeezed that bitch in there so beautifully. Mm-hmm. Um, it was just dope, man, to see it, man. That man got a, a beautiful factors. arm. I think it's a few factors that play into that too. Um, he have, have a new offense every year. Mm-hmm. That's so right, that's, that's that, head, he's yeah. never really just been fully, fully, fully comfortable. But he's managed and game managed and excelled at game managing all of the offenses he has been in. As far Perfect as that time, wise, man. but if he get that awareness up, he easy number one pick. Hey, easy. That he just got to get his awareness up. What man? He dropped one on the numbers right prior to the hell mirror, but it dropped the shit out that whole fool. That be hit his ass. Yeah, right oh in the yeah, chest. it did. Doing. Came right back and did it again. Right in the chest. Man, came back and hit that. Nigga. You know what? I didn't realize what was crazy. I didn't I'll, realize it was raining like that. I, I just was finna say that until <laughs> I saw the highlights back. I was like, oh, from Instagram. I was like, damn, it was raining. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never, never knew that. Because from this angle, it don't look you don't like look, it. Don't, nope. Don't, nope. Now, there was a dime. When you get no, that, 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 one, that, that, that when they scored in the fourth quarter, but it caught that big one hand. Man, nigga threw a dime. Uh, who who they play next? Uh, Dez. I, I looked it up last night, but I forgot. I know they got Kansas State in two weeks. Uh, but uh, that's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna watch. They got a good game going. next week. That's gonna be tough for them. So they getting into the meet of twelve too. But I, I forgot the uh, UCF. what's the um, UCF the running back that left there. He at Kansas State. Who UCF like looking going? like this? Year? I don't even know. Normally they are okay. I know South Florida good or decent. They've been playing their opponents. Decent. I I, I saw I play. saw they had the number one. Rush offense, they they oh, yeah, giving from, up the uh, least sacks and something else. From your boy. Uh, it was like offensive man. yards per game or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, from uh, uh, DJ little nephew, right? Yep. I mean, uh, what's the boy name, man? I don't know. You know who nephew I'm talking about? Uh, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy. My yeah. bad, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jeremy nephew, yeah. I didn't know he went there. Yeah, he, I didn't know he, he transferred. Yeah, yeah, he went there. Um. Clemson looked a lot better yesterday. Yeah, put up fifty nine, and they were they shit. At one point, they was they was smooth selling. They let NC State come back even just a little bit, but um, I don't know. Like it just sometimes you got to let a whole season play out. Right now, it looks like my boy's system kind of working. Georgia had them neutralized, but uh, they looking pretty good right now, man. So uh, we'll see how that how they go. Going to the wolves, but they okay, man. And that's what Georgia is. That's what Georgia going to do to you. And they made you look like that, especially game one, right? You no know, other season. You don't know what. Who you pick them this week? week? Uh, I got four games, but we're going to go with the three. Um, and we'll write, we'll, we'll week, write uh, CGRs in. All ranked games. Uh, the first one is uh, number 13, Kansas State, against number 14, Oklahoma State. But Oklahoma State, didn't they lose yesterday? So they're yes. probably going to fall a little they're bit. But fall. right now, they are ranked 14 based off of this one. You said they got Kansas State? Yeah, Kansas State. And they are playing at – come on. Kansas State. Well, we feel a little sm- uh, slow. Kansas State. They playing at Bill, Kansas State. Playing, okay, Bill Snyder Stadium. So yeah, yeah, that's Kansas State. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go K State. Yeah, give me the fighting Snyders and now, man. K State. Mm. Even though I hadn't had much time to watch them, but for me, man, uh, some I don't know what's up with Oklahoma State running back. He came into the year the number one running back in the country, but yeah. we hadn't seen. Slop. I don't think they give him to the rock or they ain't blocking for him. Well, I, t- I tell you one <laughs> thing that's I'm happening: going. Bowman got 1,100 fucking yards pass. <laughs> <laughs> he do. Which which. Back to Dion them for just a second. Them niggas throw that bitch way too much. Way yeah. too much, fool. They and when they run that bitch, it's too positive, much, dog. They throw it way too much. They may have had like 24 passing attempts in the first half 
Olive Garden got 258 on a year, whereas Boys State running back probably averaging that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I got K State. I'm gonna go K State. Go um, they're not the they're not predicted to win either. Yeah, can't stay not. I can mm. see that. Yeah, because the way I seen them when Oklahoma. they played Tulane. Tulane played them tough, but they ended up skating away on them. But yeah, see. Oklahoma State been I playing like tough State. too, with the exception of this week when you pick them. Yeah, they brother. played Utah. Utah, you know. Utah ain't been looking like Utah. They ain't have their quarterbacks. That nigga still them. ain't man. That shit is wild, fool. That nigga gonna probably get another year. Probably. Yeah, it's time to go. He's 27 years old, man. Go be a coach. Go be a GA, man. Yeah, wow. yeah so, go on. Transition. Know, you, you hold him on my, uh, my program. Back. Yeah. Nah, we we, we did good, but, man, sorry. We're going to have to split ways with you, bro. Uh, the next one, we got number 19, Louisville, against number 17, Notre Dame. Give me Notre Dame. Notre. I'm going to go with the Notre. I'm going to go Notre, Notre Dame, Dame, even though I'm, I'm not real excited about Riley Leonard. Um. She's not my favorite of people. This man only got six hundred. I mean, five hundred eighty-seven yards on a year. One touchdown, two picks. But he running that. I'm gonna break. They running that hole. I'm gonna go Louisville, and they are playing at Notre Dame Stadium. Yeah, I think Notre Dame good, but I just when I saw them, sorry, they look real bad. Yeah. Uh, and like you said, Leonard, he ain't looking like he was at Duke. And oh, they, I hadn't really I had they cut him loose yet, much man. Louisville either. I'm talking about Riley as far as like opening the offense. Like they've they been it, running that whole a whole like he, lot. For it don't look like he got the loose to be cut. <laughs> Shit, Maybe he don't got the athletes. Around. Yeah, give me Louisville. Okay. Who you say, Todd? You say no name too? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got two more. Uh, uh, number 10, Penn State against number 24, Illinois. Illinois look real good. I think Penn State, I'm going to go Penn State because their quarterback play. He's been, he's finally looking like he's grown up a little bit and yeah, finally yeah. getting it downfield a little bit. So I'm going to go Penn State. Penn State. Yeah, give me Penn State. Uh, and they are playing. I can't trust State. Illinois. Illinois Beaver got that. Stadium in oh, Penn yeah. State in the game of the week. Uh, six thirty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Penn State. They are gonna beat the shit out of me there <laughs> now. In the game of the week, of course, two Georgia against four Bama. Ooh, it's gonna be on lockdown. Two Georgia. I'm gonna keep it simple, man. I'm, I need some wins. I'm going Georgia until I see Georgia lose. I'm going Georgia. And I'm glad I get to see this early in the hey, season, Brian, game week four, week five. I like it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared to go against the grain. No, I'm going to go. Um, that's all I've been doing. I need to go with the grain at this point. Give me some wins. Shit, fool. <laughs> Shit. Not on saving field. Um, Brand new saving field. They about to catch my L. Yeah. Reason being because I think they're going to make Milro make tough throws, and I had yet to see him make those tight window coverage throws yet to propel them. But he do got these athletes around him. I'm going to go Georgia, though. He does, but I think I'm going to go Georgia. Georgia. I think Georgia's defensive athletes are a little bit more seasoned. It's so hard, more. man. Georgia is the truth at defense. Hell yeah. Them niggas just know how to hit you. And they always been like that. That's always been classic Georgia. Them Georgia balls know how to hit. Front and they know how to goddamn put a helmet and pad on you. Right. And cover um, and the quarterback. But give me Alabama. Not yeah. so fast, my friend. Um, <laughs> Alabama in a close one. Yeah. In a close one. A close one. 27-24. Um, I don't know. Right. I just want to go against the grain. Like y'all said, I, we play it safe. I mean, yeah. we, we have a nice little time. If, if this shit backfire on me, I'm going to go with everybody else <laughs> so I can still win. So I picked two opposite of everybody this time. I, the only reason I'm going Georgia is because – I know it was last year. Because you still scared of them because they be beating Florida. Hey, that's oh, no. Nah. One, they're good. And like who said, that defensively, them niggas are so sound fool. I love to like, see them niggas be are always where they supposed to be. Like, like them mm, niggas sound always. as fuck. Ooh. So, and then it's going to be hard for them to beat Alabama again because I got them in the um, SEC championship game. I got them beating Alabama four times this year. I, I, I got Alabama <laughs> beating their ass in the SEC championship. It's going to be a good ass game. Well, it's a 7.30 game, too. Yeah, 6.30. Yeah. So, I think I might hit UAB game. And, and then we got to man, we gotta go find someone and watch the game. The, the Bama Georgia game? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Where we go. Oh, man. I hope I make it. It's hard. To, it's hard. Fool, once I have a day game or go somewhere in the daytime, I'll be ready to go home at night. You'll be ready. Right. You're going to go. Go there. It'd be hard. We're going we gonna to figure something out. We're going to figure a place to watch this. I'm real life granddaddy now, fool. I'll be ready yeah, to be get, home by 6 o'clock. Yeah, get get with us. And on a we'll, Saturday. We'll figure something out. We'll, we'll figure something out. Um, Did y'all see the, the stat uh, that – the NFL touchdowns are down in this era of football. Mm-hmm. Uh, they said passing touchdowns through two weeks, just through the first two weeks. Yeah. It said in 2019, that was 105. 2020, that was 110. 2021, it was uh, 110. 
2022, 105, 2023, 86, and this year, 2024, is only 66. You would think it would be a lot higher because they're trying to make it a more offensive friendly, mm-hmm. more pass catcher friendly. Mm-hmm. But shit, that's just how athletic, how good these boys. Are. I just think mean? it's just the lack of good quarterback play right now. Like we talked, like let's go with just them mentioning Bryce Young. Mm-hmm. It has nothing to do with Bryce Young's ability. Mm-hmm. Bryce Young is running for his fucking life they say every they, down. They say they would consider bringing him back once they shore up the offensive line. I Whoever they bring in there is gonna like, be the same goddamn results. I don't, I don't like every don't snap like that nigga running and rolling out, dog, trying to really? get rid of that hoe. He's running for his life. Hell yeah, boy. The boy looks scared out there. He's running for his life. I'll <laughs> tell you who looked damn good though. Mm. That jam Jay Daniels. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no picks. Nigga, yeah, no picks. No picks. Great uh, number. What he was like 23 74, or 25. Or 74% shit. passer percentage. I I tell you who ain't looking good. Mm. That goddamn Caleb. <laughs> I, just, I just got some alerts. He threw another couple picks Sorry. already hey. today. Yeah, he didn't already threw some picks today. So yeah, them niggas man, he told the punter I when think. they drafted him, you weren't gonna be punting much. That, right? he, that, <laughs> shit, that shit resurfaced. That shit that, that punter got he, it, more. he can boot that bitch real far, and he's punting a lot. Well, maybe he's not because you're throwing out. We we thought it was gonna be because of touchdowns and it's because of picks. That's why his ass ain't punting so much. <laughs> wasn't going to be used yeah, for this he, he lied to you, but Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nigga. We drafted him for a reason because we knew your motherfucking ass was going to be sorry. I think I think the touchdowns and stuff that we see uh comes as a result of putting these guys in too early, man. These, the, a lot of your these bag. quarterbacks, man, they're not getting time to develop. Yeah, no. I saw, um, you saw the, the, the stat line last week where two quarterbacks who played against each other was 23. I want to say it was the Oklahoma State and uh, Utah game. Uh, the quarterbacks was 23 and 24, whereas C.J. Stroud against whoever he played was it. Not Anthony Richards. Who he played? Kayla Williams. Them boy with 21 and 22. Yeah. yeah. So it's crazy. Um, I just think that they're not getting enough time to develop, man. And they they put them in these these offenses that actually kind of make them simplify, you know, those yeah. RPOs, make it a lot easier and stuff like that to to create mismatches and shit. But the NFL guys are a little bit too smart, a little bit too good, a little yeah. bit too Fans. athletic for some of that shit. Yeah. I think the defenses have smartened up. I think the defenses have schemed up a lot better. Um, and they're playing a lot better, so it, it I, I think it's making it kind of hard. Mm-hmm. And and I think this these defensive coordinators are having a great time when you put these little youngsters in there. They gonna just tee off on them. I yeah. love I love what Washington is actually doing with Jane Daniels though. Man, I love what they're doing with him offensively. They're protecting him. He don't go downfield very much, but I think it's gonna they they they're growing slowly. Them. By week eight, week nine, he gonna start getting those one on ones. He's gonna be able to go downfield a yep. little bit more. Um, and he's a he's a more of a runner than those other two, in my opinion, than than Caleb as well as Bryce. Bryce too, Bryce real small and frail, man. So he gotta be back there and kind of sit in there and not use him in the run game so much because he's so little. Um, yeah. that's why I like what they're doing, Jane. But it's unfortunate. Yeah, I think it's way too early for Bryce. I think that we gonna see today. Sam Donald probably gonna throw. Not Sam Donald. Who is it? Um, he been balling. Not not Sam Donald. The backup they bought in for Bryce. Um. Andy Dalton. Man. Yeah, Andy Dalton. You know, <laughs> Sam Dalton. Shit a little older Sam, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He going to come in and he going to stink it up. Um, or are we going to see? We're going to see if the offense runs better behind him. But I think he going to come in there and stink it up. It's just been Carolina. Hey, man. He has not one – name one of his weapons. Uh, the nigga ain't got an offensive line. The other team? The other team. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> one yeah. weapon. Um, I meant to bring this up uh, when we was talking about college. I missed it. But um, did y'all see? We we talked about Tennessee, um, but they just added a a ten dollar uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh talent fee talent on their football fee. tickets. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they said that it's going. Yeah. yeah, who so that go to? The school. Players. It's going for the players. <laughs> but you think about a, a you know seven games, six or seven games. They said that shit was roughly about seven million dollars or eight million dollars that they can divide up and pay out to the athletes. I like it. I think so. I think it's good. It's ten dollars. Ten for you. Give me a little, little extra money. I get it. <laughs> uh, and we know everybody gonna follow suit. So yeah, uh, yeah. I think that was kind of dope. They yeah. added it. They got what? Neil and Stalin got what? One hundred three, hundred four thousand, something think, like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, Makes sense. And 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 the last thing was: should college players be off limits from being attacked by media? Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm I paraphrase that by: um, for a long time, college. Athletes were considered amateurs, right. and they didn't handle them the same way that they handle pros. Right. They still 18, 19, 20-year-old kids that are still learning right. how to become pros, still learning how to uh, 
go through their emotions and how to answer questions and how to handle media better. Um, but in today's times, they're making a lot of money now. Yep. Mm-hmm. They're making NL, NIL, NIL money. money. They're starting to kind of transition them into professional sports. Um, should they be criticized and critiqued the same way as pros or not? I'm bringing this up. We saw Dion basically say um, the way they criticize his players. He said these are still college kids that y'all criticizing. And I think some of y'all are envious because they're making more money than you and it's showing at the way that you're attacking some of these players. I don't know if it's envious because right. of that. I just think that they see, hey, you're making all of this money. I can talk about you now. If you're going to put it out there, I can say somebody. And even sometimes, I don't think that that's all the way fair because I don't think a lot of people's personal lives should be talked about like that. But that comes with the spotlight. Did does. they make it personal or did they? I still don't even know what they say. I'm saying, like, I don't think it was nothing personal that I've heard. I, I mean, like, he has six girlfriends. I don't know what they say. Like, I, like, I, 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 say I don't know. People, if, I don't like know. I said, again, I don't know. But what I do know is this would come with it. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, what you think going to happen at the next level? Like, if you get, get in that hole and you get this signing bonus to be this all world rookie, that's what come with it. Like, what they these, ain't going to not. I just think. Say, Oh, go ahead, they gonna not say you know something about your performance on or off the field if you do something. You know what I'm saying? Like they paying you handsomely for you being a king's ransom for playing <laughs> a child's game, my nigga. These niggas ain't amateur. Not all of them, but majority of them. Right, the, the ones, players are no the ones that get no the one. notoriety. Those are the ones that they talk about. We you don't talk play. about the fucking offensive lineman that ain't blocking for Colorado. We talk about Shadur, whether he get the ball off. At, you see what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. He's the he's the man now, and you know that's just that. I when it when they didn't get paid, yeah, you know it's it's a kid at that point. But shit, like nigga, these niggas paying you now. That's why they teeing off and going off and What's having spotlight? opinions. Man, like, you that's, be, that's hey man, you could be it. broke, man. If you are the player in the spotlight, and if something personal goes on in your life, they gonna talk about it. Never been. This ain't. I don't think this is nothing new. Right. Yeah, I think. Um, they used to call when, it Miami animals and shit. Yeah, when you, when you, yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, when you make this kind of money and you at this level, and then today's times, it, 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 it fuck, you gonna get it. Right. Um, I think this is the fine time for these universities to make media training a yep. thing, or you right. can contact the content factor. We, we are about to do our branch of media training to extend out to these high school kids to get them ready and get them prepared for how to handle tough adverse questions, how to handle hostile media, how to manage your social media uh, in terms of dealing with the actual media entity. So, mm-hmm. yeah, reach out to Content Factor. That is a plug that we're not shameless about. Okay. Um, moving on into the dummy of the week. Ain't no shame in my dummy, game. Dumbass, dumb stupid-ass dummy. Ass, dummy. Some um, I don't know if y'all remember we talked about this a while back. It was all over the news. But uh, y'all remember when the China Zoo – uh, had the dog <laughs> and painted them to look like pandas. Puppy pandas. And man. they said that it wasn't. They well, the zoo out. just came right, out dog. and admitted that they did paint dogs to look like pandas. Them bitches look like chow chows. And short, yeah, some chow chows. <laughs> <Dummy. right there. laughs> them was some skinny ad pandas. Sure. And we knew it. But they have since come out and said that that indeed was um, uh, dogs, little Rottweilers or chows <laughs> that, they, that they painted black and white to look like. Uh, Newsflash. Y'all didn't yeah. need to tell us that for us to know that. Right. Um, they both look like big puppies out there. Big, big puppies. Give me that pound. Honorary dummy. Uh, uh, nigga painted Fido. The guy that's running for, the Republican that's running for uh, governor of uh, North Carolina, Mark Robinson, uh, he framed himself as the black Nazi. Uh, motherfucker came out and said that slavery wasn't that bad. He black? Yeah. Said slavery wasn't bad. He said a whole bunch of wild shit, man. Uh, you know, Dez would have probably pulled it up, but we can't get to it. He's in the middle of something. But uh, he, <laughs> he he said a bunch of crazy, wild ass shit uh, this week. But he it was mainly that they were saying that he he framed himself as the Black Nazi, nah, uh, and then you know he was running with Trump. And them, you know, you know how this go. Nah, bro. Uh, but Mark Robinson, ain't uh, you can you can get a dummy. Um, <laughs> you're the Uncle Tom, dummy. dummy. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, he said all kind of crazy shit though. It's it's black Nazi and slavery wasn't. Uh, Talking down about MLK, man, I watched Martin had, Luther King. As a, in history class, I had to watch Roots, boy. Yeah, watch Roots. Um, and then this guy Josh Dunlap, I don't know who you are. I don't think he's nobody special or anything. Um, but all black people don't look alike. Uh, he put up a a picture of Montel Williams, uh, and said, "Here's a picture of P. Diddy with Kamala Harris." 
who has been arrested <laughs> for sex trafficking. Stupid. They altered, didn't they alter? And Trump, Trump posted. Trump, they altered it, and Trump them posted. Yeah, how you, how you make this nigga look like? Uh, I don't know how you make this. Nigga <laughs> they did it, fool. Look like they, did it, but they did it. They did. It. No, I, I seen the alter version. Oh my god! But this fool. is not the alter version. It's it's this the is the original. Version, okay, I can't. Okay, the alter version made it, but this is <laughs> the real shit. Nigga, this look like Carlos Boos or somebody. <laughs> Nigga, this look like uh, Lawrence Fishburne or something. How the fuck this look like Diddy? What? Um, but for that, y'all are the dummies of the week. <laughs> dummy. Dumb ass, stupid ass yeah, dummy. Oh, that's crazy. Any other news and information we forgot to add on to talk about while we're still in this thing? Man, fool. No. I ain't got nothing. All right. Well, on that note, we'll be back next we week like we week. never left. Because like we say every week, we never leave. You dig? Adios. Got that knuckle. You be you, dummy. <laughs> dummy. <laughs>